We are searching for the best classic kebab in Switzerland and we are back at Iverdis because they now serve sliced meat. Last time I was here it ended up in a disaster with a 3 out of 10. Let's see if they're better now. If you don't know Iverdis they are expanding rapidly. They open up a new shop in Zug. They already have few stores in Zurich, Erlikon and Affolten and they're doing a good job marketing wise but their food always was lacking. Back in the day when there was only the Erlikon store the Affolten store, the quality was way better when their father had it. But now with the sons, the quality of the food went down a little bit, but the marketing went through the roof. Let's check it out if the new sliced meat can actually compete with the other kebabs. Let's go! Here is the whole kebab, bread test, sliced meat test, and now the whole thing. Mm. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand the hype. Seriously, let's start with the new meat. Sliced meat. Wow, I wear this jumped on the ship. But honestly, what is this? Do you see how tiny this piece is? Everything is cut like so small. Look how tiny these pieces are. It's a mix between real meat, steak, chicken, I don't know. Look how tiny these pieces are. What is this, I wear this? Do they cut it afterwards? It's definitely cut by a machine and then afterwards I don't know what happened. But definitely not by an knife. Because then it will be a whole beautiful piece. And by the way, the meat comes out of this drawer. It's not freshly cut and put into the kebab. Let's continue with the bread right here. It's absolutely not freshly baked, it's pre-baked and they heat it up again in the oven, which is really sad. They probably buy it from a supplier. The bread is good crispy on the outside. Inside, it doesn't have any flavor. No dough flavor, no flour flavor, nothing. It's again a shell who holds everything together. I took yogurt sauce and cocktail sauce. To be honest, they are pretty good in my opinion. I think I taste a little bit more sweetness of the cocktail sauce. The yogurt sauce is very mild and I don't really taste it. And I have the same problem again as last time. Way too many onions. Look at this. Do you see that? The whole top is filled with onions. What, what's happening, I wear this? The onions are taking away the whole flavor of the whole kebab. And to be honest, I don't even taste the meat with all the sauces and vegetables inside. The best part about this kebab are the vegetables. They're good, they're fresh, and that's mostly about it. Yeah, what else can I say about this kebab? I prefer 100 other kebabs than this one. Everything is from the factory. Even the sliced meat is definitely from the factory. I never talk about the price because in my opinion, a kebab can be 20 francs. If everything is homemade, quality and fresh, but paying 18 francs for this one is just a scam. Sorry, I'm not taking the price into the rating, but this is too much for this kind of kebab. And that's pretty much it. What I can say about this kebab, I will give this kebab a 6.5 out of 10. Definitely better than the last time, but not good enough for sliced meat. Absolutely not. And that's it. Mm. Actually, the last bite had some fat in it and actually some flavor. Before that, every flavor was overtaken by the sauce of the meat. That was the first time I actually tasted meat in this kebab. Some side note about Averdis. Back in the day, around five years ago, I really thought Averdis is one of the best in Switzerland. But damn, they lost its flavor, they lost its spark. They can't compete anymore with the other kebabs. Everything is standardized, everything is from the factory, just not good enough anymore. Don't get me wrong, a six is still better than a five, which is a standard kebab. And the standard kebab is still good. Even a three is still good. It's not what we want from a classic kebab. And by the way, I know for a fact that the flatbread is way better at Diveris. They toasted really good, but since I always take sandwich bread, I need to have a fair comparison between the other kebabs. Here is the classic kebab topped in the ranking list. Don't forget to check out this video and let me know all your favorite kebabs in the comments.